We've got a lot of choices at the pump these days, from diesel to high octanes, but what about seaweed? I met a UVic student who says that this sugar kelp could be the next big biofuel. Mechanical engineer Aaron Philipson says BC could have a sustainable seaweed bioenergy industry in five to ten years, producing fuels that are cleaner and greener than anything we have now. It's quite similar to the energy cost for um, current generation biofuels like corn. Aaron says BC currently blends 5% of our gasoline with ethanol made from corn and cane sugar. These biofuels dilute the gasoline, lessening our dependence on oil. But Aaron says there are problems with these kinds of blended fuels. They take nitrogen-based fertilizers to make the corn grow, which results in small amounts of, of nitrogen-based greenhouse gases, which, are, which end up creating a large effect overall. Ethanol crops also use up valuable farmland, land that could be used to grow food. These crops need water to grow, and runoff from fertilizers pollute the environment. Aaron says researchers were already making kelp ethanol in the lab, so he began to look at the production process. Because nobody had looked at um, the whole stage of farming and transporting and drying and storing and then finally converting to ethanol and distributing that somewhere. So my study was to sort of dig out all the energy inputs and greenhouse gas emissions from all of those stages and add it all up to see if this makes sense on a system scale. And I concluded that, um, that it does. It, it perform, outperforms um, corn ethanol and sugarcane ethanol. And this is how the kelp grows naturally. It attaches itself to a, a solid base like a rock. And Sugar kelp is native to BC. It grows quickly. And when farmed, it requires minimal tending. Imagine this piece of bull kelp is rope. What you do to farm the sugar kelp is you take a very young sugar kelp and, and plant it on, on the rope and then as it grows throughout the season, it'll establish a hold fast and start hanging down from the rope. And then this part can be up to a meter, a meter and a half long, and you can pull it out to get your kelp harvest. Aaron says kelp ethanol could create a new industry and jobs for BC. Natural gas conversion facilities would distill the fuel and ocean farms along the coast would grow the kelp for harvest. Is it feel feasible from a, a climate change perspective? Like, is it going to do the job of reducing greenhouse gas emissions with a reasonable amount of energy consumption? And the answer is yes. Aaron is optimistic, but he says that more funding and research are needed to determine if enough kelp can be farmed to supply conversion facilities. In Saanich, I'm Paul Beilstein.